Hello, Internet. This is Buried Alive, and welcome to... Let's play Cybernator. I love that opening. So this is the briefing screen. Um, shows you a little map of the level. Kind of tells you where you need to go. Gives you some flavor text down at the bottom. Moves the air quote plot end quote along. Uh, the versus battlecraft is the ship that you're about to see. It's what's hauling our mech and our buddies' mechs around. Some of us would not return. That's a lie. We see our guys again. Nobody dies. Cutscene. After penetration? Yeah, that's right, construction yard. You take it and you like it. One. Two, and here we are. Alright, so this is Cybernator. Uh, your mech, of course, can kind of wander around. You've got a full 360 degrees of aiming. How close can you can jump? You get a little jetpack, but it doesn't last long. It overheats and you fall back down. Uh, you can dash both forward and backwards. You can activate on a button press, or you can double tap. We also have a shield that we can block things with. And uh, you can't fire while you're holding out a shield, but as you saw right there, you can adjust your aim while it's out, although you can't actually see it. Oh no, energy readings! Oh, looks like they're charging up their uh, beam gun. They are definitely not charging their laser, because that is not a laser. That is a bean gun. And that guy has a shield. We can't actually shoot him through it. We'll uh, deal with him in just a second. Cannon. Head on down here. And uh, let's demonstrate blocking really quick. Ding. So yeah, no damage. And it doesn't matter if you're facing away, as long as your shield is out, it still blocks. Now, this guy, there's a couple of different ways we can deal with him. The first is we can just stick our gun through his shield and shoot him that way, or we can use our other weapon, punch. Bam! And that right there is a power chip. Power chips, when you collect enough of them, will strengthen your weapons. Um, if you notice right now in the upper right, there's a three underneath where it says Vulcan. That means I have three more chips to collect before the power goes up. There's also a little orange bar. Uh, the idea is it represents clips in your gun. When the bar runs out, you pause for a second while your gun reloads. Uh, more dead cannons, more dead saucer guys. More cannons, oh, you missed. And another power chip. Moving right along. Kill these things. This being the first level, everything is really easy. This, if you have a pulse, you can probably beat this level and be just fine. Bam! Another punch. Take that. Uh -huh. And all right, now we have a stronger Vulcan. Um, bullets are a little larger. It fires a little bit faster. Uh, it also reloads a little bit faster. It does a little more damage. And um, as you saw for a second right there, our bullets bounce now. Uh, I'll see a little bit more right here. And there's some guy down there who died. So he just happened to be in the line of fire. Oh, darn. It's, that's what makes this game kind of fun. You don't uh, go particularly fast as you're going through all the levels. Kind of a slow and steady wins the race. But as you're going through, you blow up everything. Although there are some fast sections, which we'll see later. Uh, that is a health chip that restores health, which is represented by that big red bar right in the middle. Uh, one more power chip, and here we are at the boss. So 
So he's got a couple of cannons escorting him. Uh, they're just as weak as the regular cannons, except they can aim in three, 360 degrees. They fire just as slow. They don't do any more damage. This thing, um, there is an actual time limit. If you do not kill this energy unit in time, it actually goes up into the enemy's battlecraft, and the gun fires, and it's an instant game over. But we killed it, and we get a nice big explosion. And there's the verses. Mission complete. Full speed ahead, and I will see you all in mission two.